most of the stuff that I was going to talk about has, has been addressed, uh, but there are a couple of issues. I first want to um, address Mr. Brown about his comments to uh, Linda Smith. Um, and, and I, first of all, I guess I introduced myself, Chris Miracle. Uh, I live in Hamilton County on the West Coochie River, and I'm a board member of Wolf's Watershed Coalition. Well, Mr. Brown, I, I know you care about our water resources. You've come to my house and visited the Wifflecoochee River there and, and saw how beautiful it was two years ago in 2014. And Ms. Smith, you know, she was saying that, that uh, they've got the algae there on the same thing. Well, since 2014, we have the algae on the Withlacoochee as well. And it, I believe that, that it, the people that live and use the river and streams within the district, within our state, they're the ones that are going to be here talking about it, talking about what's happening. They're going to be the ones that are taking the first steps to protect these water resources. And the district, I believe, should use these people as a local resource. They have first-hand knowledge. They live there. They use rivers. And these people are taking steps, individually, to minimize their impact. Just for an example, this board voted to approve a conservation easement on my property. I'm very proud of that easement, and, and I want to see it last in perpetuity to protect this river. And since that uh, easement was put on my property, I have also purchased other property when it has come on the market and when funds are available, and have purchased two parcels of riverfront property since then that had septic tanks on it. Those septic tanks are not being used. The idea is to keep it from being developed further. So these people that use these resources should be valued for their first-hand information. And, and I know you guys care. I mean, we've had conversations. I know you care. But, uh, and it, it gets emotional at times because we see how things are being degraded. But uh, last month, I wanted to talk to you about the Falmouth Cathedral Cave System. And last month, uh, Ms. Tara Rogers gave an excellent presentation about the uh, Falmouth Cathedral Cave System. And I also addressed the board uh, and gave you the same geology reports that uh, Mr. Quarterman just handed you and was hopeful that you all had uh, read those reports and uh, saw you know, how vulnerable the cave system is and the Swanee River crossing site uh, from the Safe Trail pipeline. Uh, I just, uh, and, I, and I applaud you for, for uh, writing that letter to the uh, Army Corps. That was one of my, going to be one of my requests as well. <coughs> Um, in the discussion we had last month, it came up that uh, the district had commented on the Safe Trail Pipeline back in April of 2014. I've read that memorandum and, uh, several times. And it, it's a general statement of where the pipeline was going to traverse the district land. Um, now, a project of this magnitude, uh, should the district comment more than once on something like this? I think so. And I, the pipeline route has changed since 2014. So I think it would be reasonable to request that site-specific information be included in your uh, letter.
letter or, a, or an additional memorandum written that, that includes very specific information about where this uh, pipeline is going to traverse. And you can get some of the information from those geology reports, and, and I know you guys uh, have, have reports your, of your own to, to fall back on, and I'd be happy to take any of you out to these uh, sites like I did with your executive director to show just what's there and what Sable Trail says is there. They, there are major incons inconsistencies and omissions, and we won't go through all that now. But knowing that information comes with a responsibility. And the responsibility is to inform those people or agencies that are making the decisions about this project. And I believe the district does have that responsibility. You know that there are inconsistencies and omissions. They've been brought to your attention by many people. And it's, it's no secret that the environmental community opposes this. When you see it here today, it's just not some buddy from the backwoods of Hamilton County up here talking. You, the entire environmental community of this district does not want this. What does that say? So, you know, the other point I want to make, if I was standing up here asking you for a consumptive use permit, which Staple Trail would likely be doing, and I said, and, and you had the application in front of you, and you said, Mr. Maricle, you have left out information, pertinent information regarding this application. You would send me out that door without a permit. And I'm asking you to do the same with Sable Trail. They're no different than me or anyone else. If they have not given the correct and full information to the governing bodies, whether it be FERC, Army Corps, or yourself, then please do not approve that permit. So, um, Basically, thank you for agreeing to write the letter. I would ask that it be very site specific. And please do not approve any permit without a supplemental environmental impact study being done. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll promise you this. If we're asked for a consultant, we'll hold them to the same standard we'll hold you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I just wanted to mention sort of the prior, so the letter we wrote before was specific to a statutory process asking for our engagement and comment. At this point, there's not another statutory process asking for us to engage in comment. I think what we discussed before was certainly, you know, the board has the same great professionals that we do, the same local knowledge they have offices within Florida, um, absolutely appropriate to remind them that, hey, here was a prior letter. Hopefully you have access to the same GIS files and resources we do. If you're having a problem accessing those, absolutely want to help you do that to make sure you have the information you need. But sort of step beyond that, going into, hey, I want to give you our specific critique on every area along the way, I think risk becoming another sort of regulatory step that it isn't, we're not statutory task with doing. And to just want to explain that difference because in that instance, I would you'd say you'd apply that to everything else. And I know if you're doing new farming activity, I think most folks appreciate dealing with these statutorily um, empowered agencies. You know, they don't want to have to deal with every possible regulator who is not even statutorily responsible for it coming in and sort of second guessing. Certainly appropriate to say, as we provided you before. Here's information that we have. Here are the resources we have. We want to make sure you're having no problem with your professional staff accessing and using this. So sort of going into another individual detailed analysis, I think, sort of cross the boundary.
Andre and suggest that we were in the Mark, the reaction to that sir, is that uh, you know, you may be statutorily bound by to make just one contact. But as I said earlier, when new information comes available to you, I believe you have the responsibility as the main governing board dedicated to protecting our water resources to pass that specific, site-specific information to the authorities that are making the decision. These geology reports are backing up claims that we have made that are not in the record. But you're saying so these have not been presented to the... To the they have been presented to FERC and Army Corps, but they have been essentially ignored. But who would you just, like... Who, just who, for... Who, who are you wanting us to present it to? <coughs> I'm wanting you to present your own site-specific information to the court and to FERC. And just to give you an example of how this uh, has been omitted from the record, if you go to the, the uh, environmental impact statement from FERC and do a search for Falmouth Cathedral Cave System, you will not get um, any entry. That area has been ignored. It needs to go on the record. It needs to uh, be addressed. It needs to be analyzed before anything goes across it. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Arrington? Yeah. If you don't, if you have.